This is probably one of my favorite places on the planet. We're back at the slab. It's been almost exactly a year since I started the slab mural project, the short story I wrote and then illustrated on this slab of concrete. The owners who are so nice, who own this beautiful property and who had the idea for this slab have asked me back a year later to do something else. I'm super excited. We're gonna get down to business. It's a beautiful day. It's just so awesome. Let's do it. I'm back the next day. Yesterday I just had to prep the wall. I primed it. So all day today I'll be painting, but I mean, it's just a it's just a dream how nice it is right now out here. Uh so exciting. We're going to get crazy. I got a lot to do. Um but just enjoy this gorgeous million dollar view. <laughs> People, I am struggling. I'm basking in this beautiful weather, which is great, and I'm loving every second. And I also love the challenge and the struggle. It's part of, um, you know, part of the entire story of, you know, the process, which usually happens, the roller coaster of emotions. But I'm just trying to make it all unified, the shapes and making it balanced. I apologize if there's wind right now. But yeah, it's just to unify the flow and make the figures flow evenly throughout the whole um, slab and meander. You know, I've never really done something like this. And this, you know, design is specifically for the shape of the slab and going all over the edges and the border. So just toying with that and I'm just struggling with it. But we're going to figure out it's a blast. But yeah, so just know that I'm struggling. But we're going to persevere and keep moving forward. are about to be the color of my hat I've just been baking in the Sun and it's great but yeah mental battle and you probably are like why are you so frustrated it's such simple shapes it's, it looks so easy it's so simple but you know for me I'm such a perfectionist every little aspect of everything every shape has to be perfect what I envisioned you know how I thought it should be and what I think is gonna work the best and so I'm just very hard on myself and take those things um, you know very seriously and it's just pushing and pulling these shapes and just you know everything you know a shape over here might affect a shape over there and I just always want it to be balanced and flowing within the shape of the slab and so I'm just crazy like that so it made me crazy and the Sun also made me crazy so I'm a little crazy right now but it's just that roller coaster of emotions and I'm, I've, I've calmed down I'm gonna go home because I need a mental break and I've been here all day but you know we filled some in I'm feeling a little better about it I'm gonna go home and actually draw more of what I have to kind of prepare more and see where I want to go forward and that's it <laughs>
day two, I figured some stuff up on the back side, which I was struggling with yesterday. I was so rattled. I was losing the battle of the puzzle, but um, we're back today, more focused, more confident, ready with a narrowed vision. But um, you know, that just happens, especially with me being crazy in the process. You know, we finished the blocking in stage, and then now we're gonna do a white outline, and I want it to be very clean, thin outline around the figures. And to do that, I have spray paint, and I'm gonna try it with spray paint, thin, clean lines, and if that doesn't work, I'm gonna use bucket paint, nice, opaque, white bucket paint with paintbrushes. So we'll see how that goes. It's another hot one, ladies and gentlemen, and it's the final day. I hopefully can finish this whole thing today. I only got a little more left to do. You saw that I did this like really thin outline, um, just this nice crisp black outline. It looks nice, you know, it makes it pop a little more. I gotta do the other side, I gotta do down here. Um, and that's pretty much it, and then general cleanliness. And then I'm gonna try to execute this really insane hyperlapse, which is like a time lapse, a moving time lapse, and it's gonna be a circle around this slab, so hopefully at the end, the slab will just be turning like this, and you can see it 360, and uh, it'll be great, little bug. Um, so that's the plan, it's a beautiful day, hot, and we're just gonna crank the other side, clean her up, and that'll be it. <laughs> Right, this is the only place that's not very windy behind this shed, but I got the slab behind me. It's an overcast, windy day, but it's actually perfect for what I'm trying to do, a hyperlapse. I laid this yarn, measured it out, a perfect circle around the slab, and I'm gonna take photos every couple of inches around the slab. I don't know how many photos, maybe 100 or so, so that the, the time lapse will be around the slab and the slab will just spin. And I could loop it like a GIF or JIF or whatever. And I think it will turn out really cool, but I've never done it before. So this is my first shot. I'm gonna keep it in the grid of the camera, not move anything on the tripod, just move the tripod. So I guess here we go. <laughs> So I'm editing this video right now and this hyperlapse I did didn't really work out. It was kind of a fail. Um, you'll see in a second, I did it the first time, took a while, took about 140 photos and it worked out 70%. And so I went back the next day and tried it again and the same thing kind of happened. There was a part where it's just a little shaky and I couldn't fix it. So it turned out cool, but it, it's not perfect like I wanted it to, just a smooth, just rotating slab but it was my first time i'm glad i still did it but use caution it's not perfect enjoy the rest of the video <laughs> So we're all finished up here. What a beautiful day to end it. Um, it's pretty amazing. There's actually a few bald eagles up in this tree over here. I'll try to get a shot and that's pretty hurt, unheard of in Connecticut. I've honestly never seen a bald eagle in my life, let alone in Connecticut, right by the water. But um, you know, I just wanted to talk about this mural really quick. This, you know, my agenda behind this was based on my experience from the last slab project I did. The, the three paintings, you know, the short story I illustrated, those were like full-blown paintings, you know, as if it was on a canvas. You look at the canvas and there is the painting. This 
time around, you know, this slab of concrete is really like a sculpture. And so, you know, my agenda for this mural was to affect that sculpture with sort of this design oriented pattern rather than just have a painting to look at. This is more of a sculpture design to affect, you know, you know, this, this sculpture, this, this structure in the ground. So that was kind of my, you know, that was the plan. And, you know, there was a lot of inspiration from Keith Haring, Cleon Peterson, you know, they kind of are known for doing kind of figures like that. I want to try it myself, do my version, you know, come up with these cool figures, the double outline. Um, and yeah, I think it turned out great. It's definitely different from what I've done before, but I was happy to do it. It was a great time. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I gotta get out of here, so I'll see you in the next video.